Coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Colin Navadza has been living in Canada for a number of years. Now having completed numerous projects for his homeland, Colin's new focus is to ensure that each student has their own desk, rather than sitting on the bare floor. The next round of voting is underway in the Aviva Community Fund competition. And the Emergency Shelter for Homeless Youth is counting on your online support to help them reach the top 40. As Swift Current celebrates its centennial in 2014, the Prairie Quills Writers Group has released its fifth anthology, Reflections from the Creek. Thanks for joining us here today. Helping students thousands of kilometers away is the focus of a project by one Swift Current man. We have more in today's top story. Colin Navadza has been living in Canada for a number of years and still has strong ties to his homeland in Zimbabwe. A teacher by trade, Colin wants to ensure that all children have the opportunity for education and started his own foundation in 2012. And I always say I'm always grateful to my late father. Even though I wasn't born in a rich family, one thing that he really made sacrifice of was the fact that he wanted us to be able to at least get an education. So I am where I am just because of education. I therefore don't want any child out there to be denied that opportunity because it is only education that we can break the cycle of poverty. Fine, we may give these children things like food, things like that, but the thing that they need most in order for them to get out of poverty is education. Now having completed numerous projects for his homeland, Colin's new focus is to ensure that each student has their own desk, rather than sitting on the bare floor. With the closure of St. Pat's and St. Joseph schools in Swift Current, and the transition of these students into the new All Saints Catholic School, is the abundance of close to 200 desks now sitting in storage. A situation which piqued Colin's interest. So I approached the Catholic school division and asked them what they would do with the school furniture. And I told them briefly about my project. And I told them I would love to have the school furniture so that I could send it to Zimbabwe. And, and like they say, another man's waste is another man's treasure. A project which the Holy Trinity School Division supports through the mere donation of unused furniture. Right, and our, our only support of this is, is that we have, have definitely have said to him that, you know, we do have 200 used desks that he can have, but it's, it's, you know, it's entirely his project. And with a green light now in place from the school division to acquire the desks for free, Colin is now faced with finding the funds to ship the furniture to Zimbabwe. Right now I'm still in touch with, you know, the shipping companies, but I think roughly between seven to $8,000. So one gentleman gave me $50 and one organization wrote to me and say they have, they are willing to give me $50 because I once gave a talk to their organization and they've been following you know, some of the work that I do and then they say they could make a small contribution. Other than that, I haven't really had uh, anything significant, although I'm still hopeful that you know, at the end of the day I'll be able to salvage something. Donations of all amounts are graciously being accepted and anyone interested in helping Colin Nabadza with his project to ship the desks from Swift Current to Zimbabwe can contact him directly. And from the smiling faces in the crowd, the 2011 event in Swift Current was another success, with organizers pleased by the turnout of support. The Emergency Shelter for Homeless Youth in Swift Current is still in the running for $100,000 in a national competition, and they need your online support. The next round of voting is underway in the Aviva Community Fund competition, and the Emergency Shelter for Homeless Youth is counting on your online support to help them reach the top 40. With a goal set on winning the grand prize of $100,000, Development Coordinator Betty McDougall says the funds would assist local youth from across the region. Yeah, please vote. Uh, and we certainly, it certainly is a need. We've done a lot of research. We've identified that there's anywhere from 16 to 20 youth on any given night that don't know where go they're going to sleep that night. So if we can have a facility like this in, in the southwest, that would be terrific. McDougal lands it with strong competition across the country. Every single vote for the emergency shelter for homeless youth will go a long way. 
Uh, well, we really appreciate all the support that we've been getting. As I say, we've had over 500 supporters, and that's terrific. So encourage people to vote, encourage people to connect with others who maybe haven't registered yet to vote and uh, you know, really have a, a successful project for Southwest Saskatchewan. You can cast your vote once per day, every day, for the Emergency Shelter for Homeless Youth in Swift Current and help them reach their goal of winning the $100,000 prize. Further details are available online. A local writers group has unveiled its fifth publication coinciding with Swift Current Centennial. We have more in this report. As Swift Current celebrates its centennial in 2014, the Prairie Quills Writers Group has released its fifth anthology, Reflections from the Creek. The book was officially launched at the Art Gallery through an evening filled with song and readings by the nine writers who contributed to this historical reflection of their own memories and expanded stories and poems of real-life characters from Swift Current and area. Irene Bingham is the president of the Prairie Quills Writing Group and says each of the members brought a different perspective to the book. And because I was rural, I was one that come into town as a youngster. And when I come, I'm seven years old tonight. So that's where my story starts, and it is a Christmas story. It's called Swift Current's Flying Reindeer. And uh, I think every member of the group really enjoyed working on this project. It was a, one of our anthologies that we, we met our deadlines at every point. <laughs> <laughs> which was so important to us. A memorable experience for new and long-standing members of the group who meet on a regular basis to collaborate on a variety of projects. And to be writing a piece of uh, history as well as rolling it into a fantasy, I really like uh, doing science fiction and fantasy type characters and I love setting them in uh, actual places like Swift Current or Canada. So it was Super exciting to be able to work on it. It's so easy to procrastinate and, and put things off. And when you've got a project that you're working on, we write in our meetings and things like that and, and do our anthologies and our gala every year. And it gives us a, a focus and a project to, to push forward with rather than to, to kind of turn to your old work all the time. We're con this way we constantly create some new, new interesting stuff. And with another book published, the Prairie Quills have enjoyed success as a group and individually, while enabling aspiring writers to get their thoughts on paper. Well, I was a published author before I started teaching writing, um, but I'm so excited because our group, with the support that we've given each other over these 12 years, we have eight published authors in our group now, out of uh, core, um, core membership of 10, so that's a pretty good result. The Prairie Quills Writing Group was founded in 2001 and always welcomes new members. Copies of Reflections from the Creek are available from PharmaSave and the Swift Current Museum. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.